Hi, I'm Jeffrey O'Hallam. I'm the writer of Child of Light, and you're watching Eurogamer. Tuck yourself in bed. Let me tell a story of Lemuria, a kingdom past. Howdy gamers, Ian from Eurogamer here, and ooh, doesn't this game look beautiful? This is Child of Light, a new JRPG-inspired digital download game from Ubisoft, which has been generating quite a buzz in gaming land at the moment. Luckily for all concerned, I was in Paris at exactly the same time as Geoffrey Yoharlam, Child of Light's writer, so I asked him to shed some light on the game. <laughs> he couldn't have written that any better, I tell thee. The journey will transform her. Child of Light is a playable poem. It's um. The idea is to take, you know, this beautiful art style, beautiful music, writing, um, animation, and create this, you know, this deep, epic story. So the game is about Aurora, who is the daughter of a duke from 1895 Austria, who wakes up one morning to find herself on this magical lost continent called Lemuria, and she's trying to get home to her father. In order to do that, she has to find the lost sun and moon and stars which have been stolen by the queen of the night and then things turn out to not be quite what they seem and, and her quest changes over time and uh, the gameplay is JRPG inspired with some platforming elements and also puzzle elements and um, it really lends itself to a coming of age story because um, the JRPGs you level and Aurora uh, grows up and so the player will experience that kind of evolution from innocence towards experience um, through this, this painterly fairy tale world and Aurora's epic journey. You were also the writer on Far Cry 3, a game which couldn't be further away style and gameplay wise from Child of Light. How challenging was it to write a fairy tale based story rather than a story about drugged up psychopaths who want to kill you in a variety of messed up ways? Child of Light is is a adult fairy tale, you know, which all the best stories for children are. You know, Roald Dahl wrote these incredible stories that are very dark and uh, true. You know, I think if you tell a, a deep story, kids and adults love it. And, and, and if you try to condescend or keep, um, keep difficult things away from children, they know. They know that you're not telling the truth. I think as humans, we have this ability to see falsehood and truth. And a lot of, a lot of what's out there tries to mask whether it's false or true, but I think it's very difficult to do that. Um, you know, we see through it. And so the idea is to tell a true story about coming of age that, that's true no matter what age you are and you see it. Um, and it deals with similar themes to Far Cry for me. I mean, Far Cry was the story of Jason and this period where he went from innocence to a kind of experience in growing up and he's forced to take responsibility for his younger brother and his, and his family, or not, depending on what the player wants to do. And in this case, Aurora is a young girl who ends up in this difficult situation, and the question is, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna, um, where are you gonna take her? And how do you want everything to end? And so, uh, in my mind, that, I'm dancing around this kind of difficult time in our lives where we have to take control um, in terms of the writing, it's very different in that it's, it rhymes, and it's rhyme scheme like Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. So that's four line stanzas in A, B, C, B, where the second line rhymes with the fourth line. Because if you do all couplets, it ends up sounding like a children's book. And instead, if you look at Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, which is an equally deep, dark tale about you know a sailor who ends up uh, being cursed because of because he kills an albatross. Um, you, you know, it fits with Child of Light, that form. So, um, it's more like mosaic tiling when you write something like that. You know, uh, for writing Far Cry 3 is like painting, where you do these big grand gestures and you're kind of, you're, you're excited by the ammunition that characters use against each other, and you're excited by uh, taking characters to their limit and kind of the, the, the energy of dialogue as a writer and it's you get up and painting like cry ah, oh this is gonna be a beautiful when this moment happens wow what if Earnhardt says this what if Voss says this that's so exciting um, whereas Child of Light is like mosaic you know you gotta control your emotion you gently place and it's kind of like solving this big crossword puzzle 
and you sit back and you go, is the scene right emotionally? Do I hear the character voices? And is the rhyme scheme right? How can I fix this word? Can I do that? And so um, it was a very intricate process, probably the most difficult script I've written. You've made it clear that you've really wanted to explore JRPG mechanics with Child of Light, so you must be a big fan of them. Which JRPGs have you specifically referenced? Which are the games that have directly inspired the production of Child of Light? Yeah, I mean, love uh, Chrono Trigger. We love um, Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy VI and music, you know, from X, we really inspire by, and um, uh, Grandia II for uh, something called the timeline and the, the combat, um, which allows you to kind of you know, you're, you're kind of racing people to be able to cast in time and you can slow people down or speed people up, speed enemies up, speed your own people up or slow them down. And so it becomes this very kind of intelligent turn-based system where you, you really figure out how you want to uh, how you want to win each fight. While at the same time, it's not adrenaline-based. So, um, you know, it doesn't. the game doesn't make you feel like you can't fall asleep after playing it. It's, it's supposed to not... It keeps your mood kind of warm and... and and light, and at the same time, uh, hopefully, brings out emotion through the story and everything that's going on. And we we're also inspired by the epic worlds in those games. And um, I personally was inspired a lot by adventure games I played growing up, like Siberia and The Longest Journey, and um, Mist, and you know, stories that really go into character and hidden, uh, hidden secrets and character evolution, and um, really an opportunity to you know, have someone from our world enter into a strange place and try to discover it. You know, that's the journey that you go on as a video game player. You, when you start a game, you're entering another world and you have to discover it. And so I love that. Uh, it's something that really drew me to games growing up. Thanks, Jeffrey. I had a quick hands-on with Child of Light and was really impressed by the presentation. It truly looks like a fairy tale storybook brought to life, and the inclusion of co-op play means it's one story you won't have to enjoy on your own if you don't want to. It will be interesting to me to see if this game can turn more casual Western players onto the JRPG-style gameplay. Nino Cooney did a good job, but it never really helped the genre make a leap past niche gamer culture in the West. For me, turn-based combat is generally a turn-off, but seeing as Child of Light has made me sit up and take notice, it may actually be doing something right. But we'll see for sure when it releases on current and next-gen consoles sometime next year. Thanks for watching, and as always, please give us a subscribe by clicking on that on-screen annotation. Go on, click it. Click it. Click it. Go on, do it. Click it. Click it. Go on. Nice. Beware the night, child of light.